today I'm Liliana Amaro, Children Sleep Coach and today I got a question that I selected from the people that are contacting me they sending me um, some um, some asking for advice so they send me oh what can I do um, to do to stop my child to having a bottle a bottle very early um, in the mornings like she her children is sorry her child is two years old and she's ready to, to stop the habit but she doesn't know what to do and she's asking for some advice so I selected this question today and I want to um, tell you what to do okay first of all um, the, the first thing that you need to do when you are deciding what um, that is time to make a change is always set a timeline uh, how long I want to keep doing this when I'm going to be ready for the change and it's very important that you as a mother or as a parent um, are ready for this change especially because sometimes the the people are not quite ready for implementing the change they just um, want to do it but they don't know when they're not ready or they don't they're not planning so well so this is the one of the first things plan when um, are you you would like to make this change and then set the date, let's say from today on, I want one more month or in a couple of weeks someone is coming to visit me, I don't want to deal with whatever has to happen at the time, so I'm going to set the, the time. After setting the time, you need to be start uh, communicating with your child um, about the change, and this is very, very good for a two-year-old, you need to start talking with her or with him about the change and you can start saying and put the idea into their uh, little head um, that you are going to change um, the habit or there is um, in two weeks and then you can also make a calendar in two weeks we are going to stop having a bottle because you are a big girl or a big boy and you are not going to have any more bottles during the early mornings you are going to continue sleeping but in the, when it's breakfast time, you can have your bottle. You can do this, for example, if you want to get uh, rid of the bottle uh, completely, that is when you start putting that idea into their heads. It's very easy to explain. The more times you say it, the more uh, times they will listen and start getting the fact. And you can start trying and then you can even do trials and say to your child, what about tomorrow we try not to have a bottle? So you start getting used to this uh, new idea. What happens in air, very early hours of the morning? We are very tired, especially between 3 and 4 in the morning when the children wake us up. Uh, we don't want to get up or sometimes we are in a zombie mood and we, go to, we get up and then we just do whatever um, in order to get back to sleep. So we need to be concentrated on this and you need to be aware that the, the child is going to continue to ask for something he has had. Um, and you have given to the child for all this time so it's up to you to start changing this so you need to start um, trying to change it uh, and then okay you can have trial days but you can the more you can tell every morning or every time you even at that time uh, in the morning or early morning when the child is awake and is asking you for the bottle you can say here is your bottle please enjoy it because in two weeks you're not going to have it anymore. So the idea is in their head and this is um, a very big key and very important step to achieve what you want. Okay, uh, let's say the date is approaching and it's going to be tomorrow or very soon. When this is um, start approaching, the idea is gets reinforced and then the day comes. The day comes when the bottles um, in early mornings, are they need to go. So that day you need to be persistent, you need to promise, uh, you need to make um, uh, your promise happen and, or your idea to happen. Like if you say that there were no more, no more bottles at that time, you need to stop giving the bottle at that time. Why? Because if you stop at the time you said or the day you say, your child is going to believe you um, that whatever you say is true. If you decide to do it, 
um, but the child starts having a tantrum or starts screaming or doesn't want to go to sleep or start having an argument with you at that e uh, time early in the morning and then you end giving up on whatever dramas are happening and you give the bottle, then the child will start losing um, the trust on you. It's not a big deal uh, losing the trust for a bottle, but you are showing them that you don't have determination and you and you can uh, make things happen. If you say something, it doesn't really matter what you say because you are not following through your own words that you've been preparing to. So this is a, a very good education for us as a parents, education for the children that they they can they believe that whatever we said is going to happen happens. So you need to be having this in, in your mind when that happens and just be strong. And day by day, just keep to you what your decision was and follow through. Um, in order to not have a, a failure on this and, gi and giving up because the child starts screaming at, let's say, 3 in the morning, he starts screaming very loud, and you don't know what to do because uh, the husband is waking up, the child is, in, is crying, and you say, well, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm doing this. Um, I, it's so easy just to give him the bottle. Why not? Just give it to him, we, and we all sleep happy. Okay, in order for this not to happen, you need to have a plan ready. You need to have a, um, the idea that this can happen. Always think about the worst scenario that can possibly happen and prepare for it. For example, let's say, well, what I'm going to do when my child starts screaming? I am going to get upset, I'm going to explain, or I'm just going to hold on and trying to put him to sleep. How are going to ha I'm going to handle this? This is up to you, obviously because you are going to plan your own strategies. You can um, uh, go to the path of consequences if you think your child is very persistent and it doesn't fall for um, rewards, because this is, um, I really personally like rewards in, ch in, the, in the children. They really, they really work because they have something to look forward. Let's say if, um, if the child, you said, well, uh, tomorrow is the day that I'm not giving you the bottle, and then the day comes and he, he really asks for the bottle, he will try anyway. There is, rare, um, there is rare cases in where the child accepts the fact that it's change, but there's always a resistance to a change. Let's say, let's say it's early morning, the children want the bottle, you say, no, I'm not giving you the bottle, remember we've been talking about this, and then the child starts insisting. You know, you, if you have plan or you work with rewards, you can say, remember, like if you don't have this bottle um, this morning and you just wait until your breakfast, you can have a, um, a little biscuit that you like or you can have a little toy that you want for days and days. So this works very well in children because they feel that they're making an effort and they get um, rewarded for it. And also you, you're happy because the child gets through it and is working towards some objective that is the same as you. Um, this doesn't take long, it just takes persistence, um, takes a lot of effort from your side to be strong and guide your child through this uh, journey. It's the same for everything um, in regards of sleep and then also this is going to make your child sleep much better and you don't need to wake up through the night to, um, to give this bottle. That um, in reality by, by the, two, the age of two, you don't really need to be getting up at night time. It's better for your child to be sleeping and um, be re well rested. Okay, thank you so much for your time and see you next week in Learning to Sleep. I'm Liliana Maro, Children's Sleep Coach. Thank you. Bye.